Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of foreign exchange markets. I'll start with the euro against the dollar. A fourth bearish black crow yesterday, and yet another really interesting one as well. This time it was the move down with a bearish long black marabosa away from the break below the significant support, and that's the same support that held well, previously managed to hold up the drop in August and back in March as well. And this is the 38.2% Fibonacci line of the June 2020 to January 2021 move at 116.94 plus the neckline currently 116.87 of the August to September 2020 head and shoulders top pattern. The market accelerated lower through what I had previously pointed out was actually fairly free territory from the August low at 116.62 down to the first support of note, the November 2020 low at 116.02, and overshot it a bit, closing just under 1600. As for what pattern we're developing, well, I've said since Tuesday that we've seen over June to date, uh, to that period, to have a pattern known as Cat's Ears. Yes, that is indeed its name, Cat's Ears. For that pattern to fulfill its potential, we could see a move down to the 114 and a half area. Now, yesterday's big move low was the first step in that direction. Now, one final item. The big move yesterday also, especially below last month's low of 116.62, means that with only today to go, we are here looking at a possible monthly key reversal for September. If we close tonight in New York, either below 118.07 or above 118.70, then we'll be on for a monthly key reversal. Anything in between, and we'll have a lesser outside month pattern. Right now, we are fairly obviously and fairly heavily within m monthly key reversal down territory. So far today, a steady, small, slightly reactionary market pushing back up over 160.02, but then dipping back back down below it once more but not by far we're still within uh, the bottom of yesterday's range cable aka stern against the US dollar a second bearish black crow yesterday this time it was a bearish long black marabozo and it was also a very suitable follow-on to the previous sessions very large bearish engulfing pattern now I previously stated that the move down has been important on so many levels not just as a large move on its own but for starters, breaking out and down from the recent sideways triangle formed from the late July downtrend currently at 138.88 and the mid-July uptrend currently 136.41. This move lower gave an initial target X in the 134.90 area and a secondary target X1 in the 132.65 area. Yesterday the market reached down to target X as you'd expect the secondary target is harder to reach than obviously the initial target. As you'd expect, this move down has also had been a vindication of the early June to late July bearish shift pitchfork, with the market moving down through the middle time, currently 134.83, uh, the same level today as the September 2020 high from the upper time it's moved down, currently at 137.15. Now finally, I had droned on interminably about the longer term whole of 2021 double top pattern, Adam and Eve type. I thought it was becoming more obscure as time moved on and prices didn't. However, this move down has revitalized that idea and we are now having some potential targets for this pattern. Our initial target X2 would be in the 133.60 area, 60, with a secondary target X3 in the 131.10 area. As you would expect, the secondary target would be harder to achieve. So far today, a small reactionary move back up to start with, but seemingly failing as it halted short of the combination today at 134.83 and moved back down to unchanged on the day um, and looking like an indecisive spinning top sometimes a doji cross right now euro sterling an interesting action yesterday a higher indecisive spinning top that could also be seen as a second bullish white soldier now if you follow the latter idea uh, you could say it was a small follow-on to the previous session's third countering large combined key reversal up and bullish engulfing pattern. 
why the body was so small and the tongue and tail so relatively long can be put down to one thing. The overhead declining long moving average currently 86.40.40, pressing down upon the market, especially on a closing basis. The actual range on the, well, almost made it up to the April low of 2020 at 86.69. This is the flat overhead trend line of the previously highlighted large right angled broadening formation formed since late May. It had been a diminishing idea, but this move up has reinvigorated it. The pattern is made up from this flat April 2020 low on the top side and the lower channel line currently at 83.61 of the broken May to August bear channel. Meanwhile, looking below, we still have support as support the medium moving average currently 85.67 and the short medium moving average currently 85.51. So far today a further attempt to push up through the long moving average but it is getting rebuffed right now though the range overhead or overall is still fairly narrow. Just in case we also have some recent support from highs in the 86.12 to 86.13 area but it appears after the SA to be limited. US dollar against the Indian rupee. A third bullish white soldier yesterday and a suitable follow on to the previous session's large bullish engulfing pattern. The move punched up through and closed right on the 50% Fibonacci line of February to April 2020 move at 74.26. It also continues to justify the newly drawn small late August uh, to September based bullish shift pitchfork. The lower time is currently at 73. 69. The middle time is currently at 74.05 and the upper time is currently 74.45. Now going back for a moment to the 50% Fibonacci line at 74.26 is actually in the midst of a congestion zone from August between Fibonacci uh, levels at 74.07 below and the other lesser Fibonacci level above at 74.46. Now beyond this congestion zone the next real resistance is the 50% Fibonacci line of the April 2020 to February 2021 move at 74.63. Now, so far today, a higher open and a new high for September. As prices approached the upper time, but then became wary, and we've seen prices now dip back towards below the 50% Fibonacci line at 74.26. Not far enough for a bearish calculating market pattern, bearish engulfing pattern, but certainly far enough now for a bearish dark cloud cover pattern. US dollar against the Brazilian real. A bearish harami yesterday. The first bearish move since the middle of last week and easily bracketed within Tuesday's range. Prices were nevertheless still over the flat lining long moving average currently at 5.3305. The middle time of the recent July to late August bullish shift pitchfork. That's currently at 5.3824 and perhaps most importantly over the combination of the close together 50% Fibonacci lines. The one for 2021 at 5.3846 and the other one for the May to June 2020 move and that's currently at 5.3928. Top side, we still have the August high at 5.47.5 and an early May high at 5.4834. However, please continue to keeping an eye on the bullish shift pitchfork as it performs so well, especially the middle time. This is the indicator for the genuine bullish incentive that has been evidence here since the end of August. US dollar against the Mexican peso. A third bullish white soldier say, and also another bullish long white Maraboso as well. This time opening clear of what is now support from the March to late downtrend currently at 2019.60 and the upper trend line currently 2037.32 of the possible June to date descending triangle. This action allows me to draw some potential targets topside for the possible descending triangle pattern since well seen since June. Initial target X would be uh, in the 2089.30 area. A secondary target would be in the 2023 and a half area. This is of course dependent on the market maintaining itself over both trend lines. Meanwhile on top we now have resistance at the 50% Fibonacci line for the whole of the 2021 move at 20.58.49 as well as the lesser Fibonacci level at 20.60.62. 
and also the June high at 2074.80. This all now severely threatens the idea of the main device used to direct this market lower in recent weeks, recent times I should say, and also its main recent attractor, the influential gently declining neckline of the February 2 March head and shoulders top currently at 1964.98, basically 1965. If we manage to close over that June high, then I think its role has just been retired. Watch and see. So far today, a slightly higher open, but no follow through to challenge the 50% Fibonacci line at 20, 58, 49 so far. Thank you for listening. This short version of broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright Zeddy Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.